welcome to pharmacomania we are going to discuss pharmacovigilance and adverse drug reaction reporting so what is pharmacovigilance so pharmacovigilance is the safety of the drug so definition of pharmacovigilance is detection assessment understanding and prevention of adverse drug reaction so it is detection assessment understanding and prevention of adverse drug reaction in human being laughter is the only medicine without any side effect so each and every drug having their own side effect PVPI Pharmacovigilance Program of India in the 2010 the government of India has started PVPI with the help of the two inter collaborating department the Central Drug Standard Control Organization and uh, Indian Pharmacopeia Commission from Ghaziabad the objectives of uh, PVPI are to monitor adverse drug reaction in indian population to create awareness among the health professional about the importance of adverse drug reaction reporting in india to monitor the benefit risk profile of the medicine approved marketed and used in the country general independent evidence based recommendation on the safety of medicine communicate safety related finding of medicine to all stakeholders support the cdsco in formulating safety related regulatory decision for the medicine and last one is the create a national center of excellence at par with global drug safety monitoring standard who can report adverse drug reaction so there is one child patient consultant and pharmacovigilance cell so any healthcare professional like all doctor dentist nurses or pharmacist can uh, report the adverse drug reaction first of all and consumer also can report adverse drug reaction to directly at the pharmacovigilance cell and ph pharmacovigilance cell are available at the all medical colleges as area monitoring center what to report all adverse drug event should be reported non serious non unknown frequent and rare adverse reaction due to medicine vaccine or herbal products should be reported every kind of serious or non serious adverse re reaction should be reported reaction is serious when the patient outcome is death life threatening condition prolong hospitalization or initial uh, hospitalization due to medicine disability like significant persistent or permanent disability congenital anomaly due to drug if uh, pregnant lady is taking drug and anomaly can occur in fetus it is called congenital anomaly and uh, it should be reported intervention to prevent permanent impairment or damage reported so how to report adverse drug reaction this is the spontaneous type of adverse drug reaction reporting it can be reported by filling the form duly filled in suspected adverse drug reaction reporting form can be sent to nearest adverse drug reaction monitoring center which are available at the medical colleges or directly to the national coordination center for pharmacovigilance program of india other mode of the reporting are android application also available adr pvpi email address also available pvpi.ipc@gov.in we can send the form at this email address vigiflow is the database program where we can file the fill the form and uh, upload this form to this system and another one is the helpline number helpline numbers free helpline number also available and it works for 9 to 9 am to 5:30 pm how can adr be avoided this is very important for each and every person so first of all as a medical student we should take precaution in during taking 
previous history of allergy we should consider we take in consideration previous history of drug allergy try to prescribe rational medicine we should try to prescribe rational medicine and avoid inappropriate use of the medicine in context of patient's clinical condition we should prescribe rational medicine and avoid inappropriate use of medicine use appropriate dose route of drug administration frequency and duration of medicine causality assessment the causality assessment is the structure and standardized assessment of adverse drug reaction individual case safety report signal means the first alert about the problem and hazard with the drug more than one report is required to generate signal now who causality assessment there are how we assess that which drug causes the reaction so first of all there are categories there are four categories certain probable possible and unlikely other parameters are time sequence that drug has taken and reaction appear during this time duration so this is the time sequence other disease or drug ruled out means reaction occurs due to particular drug not due to other disease or other drug d challenge d challenge means if drug is stopped and reaction disappear it is called d challenge and re challenge means reintroduction of the drug so reappearance of the reaction so it is called re challenge after re challenging uh, response uh, reaction is reappear then category will be certain in probable category re challenge is not possible due to severity of reaction like steven jensen syndrome we cannot reintroduce the drug due to severe reaction in possible category time sequence is present but this reaction may be due to another drug or may be due to other disease so this is the possibility are there so this is possible unlikely there is no time sequence no ruled out other disease or drug no d challenge not done or re challenge not done so these are the unlikely <coughs> so this is the case registration number unit number name of the patient age sex weight address and contact number prescribing complaint patient complain of talking more than usual restless sleep disturbance decrease appetite for last 10 days there were no similar event in past general physical examination vital and systemic examination are within normal limit laboratory investigation are normal previous uh, provisional diagnosis is bipolar disorder final diagnosis is also bipolar disorder patient has prescribed lithium olanzapine and clonazepam various doses and frequency route of drug administration therapy for one month and manufacturer is not known batch number is not known expiry was july 2024 now after 10 days of this uh, prescription patient complain of hand tremor physician reduce the dose of lithium and follow up after 5 days after 5 days hand tremor disappear no other complaint so culprit drug was lithium after reducing the dose of the lithium tremor was disappeared thank you for watching the video